Hey everybody, Stephen Wallum again. Just finished uh, another day of rehearsal for Rodgers and Hammerstein's Pipe Dream here at New York City Center Encores. A um, few things I forgot to mention that happened yesterday that were exciting. We had our, what is known as a meet and greet, um, where basically the entire company, including designers and producers and uh, you name it, everybody behind the scenes gets to meet and introduce themselves for the first time. Uh, that happened yesterday, and special guests at that meeting uh, included Alice Hammerstein, who is Oscar Hammerstein's daughter, and she was there with her daughter. Um, we will also eventually see Mary Rogers, who is Richard Rogers' daughter and a musical theater composer in her own right. Um, she wasn't there yesterday, but um, she will eventually be there. So. That's pretty cool to see uh, the children of, of the authors of this piece that we're doing. Um, so, boy, this is an unusual piece. And just to give you a little teaser for some of the things you're going to see in this show, um, I will just name a list of things that you're going to see. You're going to see um, Leslie Uggams sing the words pigeon pie. Um, I will be holding an octopus at one point, and um, you will also see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'm not going to explain why, I'm just giving you a little taste of what you're in for. You connect all the dots yourself, and you're still not going to get it right. Um, <clears throat> so this is an unusual, but incredibly fun, charming show. Uh, Boy, we have some amazing dancers, too. Uh, I have always been an actor who moves well. Pretty good, pretty good, but never considered myself a dancer dancer ever. So any time that I get to sit and watch actual dancers, I am mesmerized. And we have a spectacular group of dancers. Um, so uh, this show has a little bit of everything. Um, we're pretty much almost done. I think almost everything's blocked now. Um, and it better be because we have an invited dress rehearsal on Tuesday. So, uh, but it's going great. And again, this is, a, this is a group of incredibly good humored, good natured, brilliant people. Everybody's getting along wonderfully. Still no scandal to talk about. Um, somebody's gonna have some sort of diva fit. And it may have to be me um, to get things going. Uh, but uh, it's really exciting and uh, we just keep building the steps along the way. You know, some of you may know me from uh, Nurse Jackie on Showtime and you may think, oh, well, he's a television actor doing a musical. Well, it's actually the opposite. I've been doing musical theater um, my entire life and uh, this is going to be my first actual New York, right in Manhattan, uh, musical. So I'm in heaven. And to do a piece, like I said yesterday, that is uh, pretty much unknown by the rest of the world, um, it's quite a thrill. It continues to be a thrill. Uh, what else did I mean? Oh, I wear women's clothes at one point, kind of. Um, just trying to throw some other tidbits in to get you in even more interested as the days go on. Um, if you know nothing about the story, you're not going to guess any of this. Um, but I will tell you that it is based on the um, beloved characters from John Steinbeck's two novels, Cannery Row and more specifically um, Sweet Thursday. So if you're a John Steinbeck fan, you're going to get to see these characters sing and dance. Um, so that's it for now. And um, maybe I'll pick a different location tomorrow where the garbage trucks aren't and uh, get some of my cast members on, on stage to share their thoughts as well. So until tomorrow, this is Stephen Wallen reporting from behind the scenes at New York City Center.